Yes, yes, welcome to another video. I'm Lewis above me, Jordan. I'm afraid we have just lost 2 0 against Manchester United. Um, yeah, not not great. We're going to go through some of our key points from this game. Why didn't we win the game? Yeah, we've got some um, interesting topics to discuss. Uh, before we do it, guys, let's set a like tag. Let's go for a thousand likes, guys. So we'll, um, yeah, smash a thumbs up if you do enjoy the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you want to help support the channel, get your name on screen, become an extra member. Link in the description. And guys, I want to tell you the video is sponsored by One Football. Them guys have got a mint app that you can download completely free link is in the description been downloaded over 10 million times worldwide it's a mint app gives you all the city news all transfer news transfer rumors you even get some free football on there from time to time it's completely free download it if you don't like it delito but i don't think you will because it is a mint app thanks to one football for sponsoring the video right let's get into it because there's a lot to talk about in very little time right first of all gabby jesus yeah one what are you doing the first minute I know the intention is good. The intention is good, bro. But what's he doing in that situation? Why Why? Why does he need to be there? I think he's... I get it in the sense that, yeah, he's tracking back. He's trying to help the team out. But, mate, you're a striker. And then it just led down to a, a stupid decision from Gabby. Do you know what I mean? Uh, who, who was it who went down? Was it Marshall? Marshall, yeah. So, Marshall's got the ball, but Stones and Diaz are in, in front of him. Yeah. The marshal him in a way they don't need. They know they don't need to put a foot in. They don't need to make a tackle right there and then because they're right in front of him. You can't get a shot off because he's got mm. the wall in front. Makes of Makes no sense. However, Gabby comes in from behind and proper striker fashion in it. When a striker makes a tackle, it's really hard. Hacks his leg into the in, into him and it is a penalty. There's no doubt it's a penalty. I don't know what he's doing. He's, it's he's, just it's just a very not, very very stupid side. decision. It's not goal side as you say. Stones and Diaz were there blocking him. He was never really going to be able to get a shot in, right, unless it goes through the legs or something. You don't need to get involved in that situation. Go away. But no, he gets involved, gives the penalty away, and there we're fighting we're fighting a tricky battle in that situation. Yeah. Um, but the intentions were good. I accept that the intentions were good. It was just a stupid decision, and we're on the back foot within a minute in the game. My, you know, that is an issue. But my problem lies with Gabby, yeah, is up top, he doesn't strike me as an actual striker. You know, I'm looking at some of his stuff that he's doing, yeah? And the balls are played in front of him. It's not an easy chance necessarily, but it's a chance that most strikers would at least have a shot on, and he never does it. And yeah, he gets goals. He got two against Wolves. He got one against Sheffield United. Look at where the goals are coming from. Unless the ball is right in front of the net with an open goal, pretty much, he's not going to shoot, man. And this is... You know, it's a really tricky situation now because people are always saying, it's when we do the folding shows, people are always saying, yeah, but he's mint on the wing. But he don't play on the wing. Yeah. So what's the point? You know, what's the point? You know I mean, if you're telling me that he's not good enough as a striker, he's only good enough on the wing, but then he doesn't play on the wing, then what's he doing? You know what I mean? Should he be here? I don't know. It's, it's a tricky one. I think the club have got to find an answer because... You know, there's just far too many times now where we're looking at Gabby to get us out of the, out, out, out of the mud or something. And are you inspired? It ain't, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. The ball inspired. falls to his feet. But he, the, the the biggest frustration for me is he doesn't take the shots. Yeah. You're thinking, shoot, shoot, shoot. He doesn't take it. He seems to be a little bit of a, Don't want a one step behind or doesn't want to take the shot. Maybe it's a confidence thing. But he's not going to get any confidence by not taking the shots. But we all backed him. We put him in our starting eleven because like, we wanted him to. We wanted him to do bits. But he's got, a, he's got a grow a pair basically. I think he's, I think he's, uh, you know. He needs to go a bit, a bit, get a bit of confidence or something about him because he's not shooting when he has the chance. You know, it's just it's just not good enough for me. And I think, you know, something needs to happen. I don't know what needs to happen. Let us know in the comment section below. But right, moving on now, another player that has been playing a few, you know, he's had a few games, not good, Kevin De Bruyne. What's going on with Kevin, man? I know he's just come back from injury, but his performance today was really, really poor. And as we go through the player ratings in a minute, you'll see what's what City fans are voting his player rating. He's not getting good ratings. He's losing the ball far too much. He's not being effective going forward. He's not really creating any chances. You know, it's, it's just... It's, it's not good. I mean, the only thing I can say about it is I'm willing for a very short time to accept this poor performance from Kevin because... I feel like you've got to go through this sort of trash performance to get the mint Kevin back, which like I think is going to be Aguero. crucial. Like, what, like exactly what you do, what you do with Aguero. You play him, you keep playing him, even though he isn't getting the goals or he isn't doing things, he isn't doing bits, because you know that the on the other side you have, you know what I mean, the prime Aguero ready to go. That's what you need to do with Kev. You need to, well, with hope that uh, with Kev, it's just a, a curve of he plays games. And then keeps getting into it. He's having a few trash games now, but like you said, in it, willing to let it just swerve and slide for now, 
and then hopefully we see the good Kev come back through this. And but it only lasts so, so long. Yeah, You've got Bernardo Silva who's performing week in, week out. Phil Foden that's performing week in, week out. And, and Gundogan and, is performing. So he's got to perform. We can't wait all year for him. Another thing that I'd say is this is kind of not disrupting that the way that we're playing by putting Kev in. But what I'm saying is it's disrupting the way that Pep Guardiola has been managing the team on the basis of whoever's playing well at the moment will get in the team because uh, yeah, Kev right. isn't playing well. Mm. You've got players like Bernardo who are playing well and they're not getting in. That's true. So they're not getting picked off merit. It's, it's Kev getting picked because somewhere Kev is there. Do you know what I mean? That is, that is an issue because got to think back, guys. Why did this run start? Pep came out and said, I'm going to start playing players who are in form. I don't care about who they are. You know what I mean? And I do think with Kevin, it's a little bit different because he's so talented. However, yeah. at some point, you've got to say, well, you've got to earn your way back into the team. I can't keep playing you every week in, week out if you're not performing. Like I say, I'm willing to give him some more gains because I think it's it's a necessary pain that we're going to have to go through to get the best Kevin. But, you know, he's got to start performing at yeah. some point. We, so, we need Kev. If we, we want to go find all these conversations, we need Kev. That's it. Well, that's the question. Do we? Do we need Kev to perform? I don't know. I think I think we probably do. But let us know in the comment section below. The last one before we get into the player ratings, guys, and and this is more on the lines of a um, Pep, and we need a goal, right? Because we've actually created chances. Don't forget oh. that, yeah? Yes, the two goals that we conceded were defensive errors, obviously, given the penalty away, and then Cancelo going walkabouts, so we had a terrible game. Um, but we actually created chances. We had about four chances that I can remember that we probably should have scored, but we didn't, we didn't score because we're not clinical. For me, I'm looking at the bench saying, you've got one of the best strikers in world football on the bench. Fit. He don't even come on for five minutes. I'm like, what is what is the point in him being there? Like, we have mentioned before that we need to bubble wrap Sergio Aguero for the Champions League. However, come on. You can't tell me that you can't play 10 minutes against your local rivals when you you're losing the and day. you need goals. I don't get it. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. You need goals. The chances are going into the right places. It's just no one's putting them in the back of the net. Yeah. So you look at your bench and go, how do I fix that? What is going to change that? Oh, I know. Aguero sat there, get him on the pitch, and he, he, he finishes. Do you know what I mean? It's his thing. Yeah, I just think... He is a striker. Do you know what I mean? With Gabby, we don't know if he's a striker. Aguero is a striker. Yeah, well, look at the situation when, when Jesus came off. Who went in the middle? Sterling. You all know my opinion on Sterling in the middle. I think he's trash. He had two chances. One that he, he completely... I don't know what happened. He, he should have just tapped it in, but it's just standard. That could have been Aguero. And then he had a header, and that could have been Aguero. Two chances that Aguero probably would have scored. He would have, would have scored a tap in. The header, maybe it's a little bit difficult, but I still think he would have got it on target. You know, he's, um, Sterling didn't even get it on target. So, just just what's he doing? Is he done? No, I've just had a, my mate text me. Aguero's finished, man. Like, what, why is he not playing? Is he finished? You know what I mean? The, the question's got to be asked now. What's Aguero doing on the bench if he's not even going to come on for five minutes? Is, is, does Pep not trust him? Does he think his legs are gone? Does he not think he's good enough? I don't know, but I've got. I'm, I'm sitting here and thinking... Why is he not getting on the pitch at all for five minutes, two minutes, whatever, you know what I mean? There's a, it's, a, it's a massive question. I think a lot of City fans will be wondering the exact same thing. Like, I'm interested to legit know people's yeah. thinking behind this. What are you thinking? Do you think Pep's legit just saying, I don't care about this game, we won the Premier League, I'm going to save him for the Champions League, for the FA Cup, where it actually matters? Like pure bubble wrap Like season. pure bubble wrap, like taking it to the extreme and saying, you're not playing unless you need to play. And he didn't really need to play. And... That that is a theory. That is a potential, or or is there something else behind it? I don't know. Well, let's move into the player ratings. These are not going to be pretty. You probably expect, right? So Edison didn't couldn't do anything about either of goals. I don't think six point five. Cancelo terrible game for me. He was absolutely shocking. He was trash. He was trash. Yeah, he gets a four point six. John Stones and Diaz, but I thought were pretty decent. They get six point nine and a six point six. I don't really think they could have done anything about anything really. You know what I mean? The first goal. Well, you know, they, they didn't think anything because that was a penalty. And then the second goal, Cancelo proper sold them both out. So I probably would have given him about a 7 or an 8. Zizhenko gets a 6.1. I think that's probably a little bit low, but not a million miles away. Yeah, midfield-wise, Rodri gets a 6.3. I thought Rodri was willing to win the ball back early today. Do you know, a standard procedure. However, it is what it is. Uh, Gundogan gets 5.7. And then I'll, I'll say like Kev got a three uh, a three point four. Obviously that is no, it's trash and it's trash. But Kev had a trash game. And Gundogan, whilst Kev's been back, also has kind of seen a dip in performance mm. as well. I, I, I see a lot of City fans saying, "Can the two work together? Do they work together well?" When Kev's been out of the team, we've seen the best Gundogan. You know what I mean that we've ever seen at City. Now that Kev's back in the team, he's dropped again. Do you know what I mean is that a thing? I don't know. Um, but and yeah, then three point four, man. That ain't three point four. That's it's not good, isn't it? 
But, you know, I can't really disagree. I thought he was really in ineffective and lost the ball way too much. Uh, Mahrez, I thought, was probably our best player today. He gets a 7.1, yeah. so I'm happy the extra club members give him um, a good rating. Sterling, 4.4. I didn't think he played that bad. I thought he was all right, one of our better players. Um, and Jesus gets a 1.2. Guys, a really, really low score from him. Obviously, given the penalty away completely stupidly and then just offering us very, very little going forward. And... Um, subs obviously you know, well, Walker gets a 6.2 Foden you know, he, he gets actually the highest rating of the day you know we looked a completely different team I thought when Foden come on so really he came on, changed it yeah, changed pace it. the we, drive we, we put him in our starting lineup for a reason didn't it? we don't just put him in there because we're full Foden fanboys we put him in because we genuinely think mm. this guy's a game changer and, and I think you know he did change the game all our chances came after he came on the pitch you know what I mean so Phil Foden for me now guys is a must especially in the big games I think he's a must he gives you legs he gives you energy uh, 7.5 for him Pep Guardiola gets a 3.9 I think that's harsh I think I, I do think it's harsh you know you got to look at the situation the two goals weren't tactical mistakes Gabby Jesus give a penalty away very stupidly and Cancelo goes walkabouts not really much Pep can do about that and then we created two or three chances minimum I think I, a lot of people are, are, are hindering him on the fact that um, he didn't bring Aguero on and stuff like that I, I think, think that's fair I think that's fair should he have brought him on probably um, but I think in terms of his game plan and the tactics, you know, I don't think really there was much you could he could do there. But guys, not a good day, not a good day at all. At all you know what I mean? We've we've lost our winning streak. Our unbeaten run is over. Grand scheme of things, don't really change too much in terms yeah. of the league. Bigger picture, league yeah. is still where it is, and we have bigger games coming up. Bigger fish to fry. Yeah, no, definitely. But obviously, it's just a blow in it. You know what yeah. I mean? So let us know your thoughts in the comment section below on the points that we've discussed. Might have to do a second video on this because there's a lot to talk about. Um, so let us know if you want to see that. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the video despite the crappy result. If you have, make sure you smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Go download one football link in the description. Thanks very much to them for sponsoring the video. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>